clean laundry. I was trying to find something to wear to the gym this morning. I was like, I can't find any of my leggings uh, because I would show you my closet, but it's too embarrassing. Anyway, all my clean stuff just happened to be in the clean laundry basket that I have yet to put away. And speaking of clean, I need to clean my sheets. I'd love to tell you that I clean my sheets once a week, right? Does everyone do that once a week? Uh, but it's definitely been way longer than a week. So if you need to feel better about yourself today, there you go. There's probably a pound of skin on each of these pillowcases. And by skin, I mean dead skin, of course. I'm just washing the sheets. You know, I had a fitted sheet and a flat sheet on here. I felt like I had my life together for about two days. I don't even know where the flat sheet went. I think about cleaning my sheets probably every night when I get into bed, I'm like, oh, I need to clean these, you know? So I'm finally doing that today. I have a lot of other things that I need to get done around the house. I, like, I need to get my house in order. I mean, the list is long and extensive. I'm gonna go room by room. It should really only take like five to 10 minutes each room I do. I say that and then I get in there and then I just keep on going. Even my room needs a nice little tidy. My laundry room, honestly, has seen worse days than this. So that's something to be thankful for. I'm gonna sort this laundry and then I'll transfer. I don't know how long this has been waiting to be transferred. Mm, I think it's reached its peak. If you have to do a double smell, that's not good, right? Surprisingly, my leggings probably smell the best. Anyway, I'm gonna rewash those. Just another reason for you to feel better about yourself. So who knows when I'll actually get to uh, doing the sheets, but I was working out this morning. You guys, can you see it? I haven't even looked extensively, but there's a, there's a paint swatch right here and it's gray. You know how my Lululemon pants have gray paint on them? And I was like, where did this even come from? Oh, I still don't know. I've got a conspiracy theory. Now that I found gray paint on these pants, I'm thinking when someone went to do touch-ups and then the paint was brought back in here, maybe I had my dirty laundry here and then the paint kind of dribbled. That's the only thing I can think of. But these are, this is just a little spot and I'll live with it. My other pants are too far gone. Hey, speaking of pants, we just, I just went out there with Wolfgang to, uh, I'm on the hunt for some eggs. We go on an egg hunt every morning and the chickens are getting more and more used to us. Like one of them will let us pet her, like comes up to us. Still no eggs. I know we're close because the chickens have like created a little nest. I should bring you out there or at least show you. And we fed them, like I still had a pumpkin from fall. It was perfectly fine. I thought, oh, maybe I should make pumpkin puree. I have a lot of pumpkins, but then I thought, oh, let me feed this to the chickens. The chickens didn't care anything about it. If you're wondering if chickens like pumpkin, I think it maybe has to be cooked because they didn't really care. Anyway, the pumpkin like started rotting and the seeds were falling out everywhere. So we ended up throwing the pumpkin away, but we've got like a pumpkin patch growing in the chicken coop. And I'm surprised they're not eating all of the like sprouts from it, which is actually pretty cool. Other than that today, I'm just going to set up for the weekend. It's brownie Friday, but I think I'm going to make banana pudding. It's a different recipe than Paula Deen's. I've heard it's the best, it's from like Magnolia Bakery or something. So I have that, I'll throw that together so it has all day to sit in the fridge. Hopefully that's enough. And who the heck knows what's for dinner? I need to figure that out too. All the things of running a household, all the mundane tasks that just need to get done. And hopefully I get to doing my sheets. Today is a beautiful day outside which I cannot say was the same for yesterday. All my troubles seem so far away. There was a crazy storm. It was windy, like hurricane winds. So we've got a lot of limbs down, so we've got to deal with that too. Thankfully, nothing too crazy, but I am wanting to, um, you know, obviously get a lot done around the house today before the weekend. So I did this last week, I think it was a Friday, where I went through the house and kind of reset the house for the weekend. I see a lot of people do this like on Sunday, like a Sunday reset. For me, for you, maybe it'll be like Monday motivation, even though you're seeing this on a Tuesday, maybe it'll be like your weekly motivation, I don't know. Do you have a daily schedule? Because I do not, not in my current stage of life. I used to, but those days are long gone. But last week I found that I really enjoyed prepping for the weekend. So we like had a lot less to worry, but we could enjoy our weekend. It was really nice. So we'll see if the same goes for 
this weekend. Did you have any plans this weekend? Did you do anything cool, fun, exciting? We always have a lot going on. Sometimes I, I feel like too much, but it's the chaos of life, and that's what we signed up for when we decided to have five children. Did you choose the chaos or the quiet? <laughs> Some days I think like, oh, when, when will this end? When will we get a few moments of peace? And then other days I think like, well, what else would we be doing? <laughs> oh no! Whatever he was wearing, what, I don't know what he got into. He came inside and said, oh, I'm bleeding. And we knew it was a joke, but man, I don't know what kind of paint he got into all over his new shirt. That's, that's upsetting. You gotta let them be little. That's why some people have play clothes and nice clothes. We just have clothes over here. That's why I like to buy secondhand. Okay, well, hopefully while I'm going room by room today, I find all of their baskets because this, all right, we gotta go somewhere else. I clearly have not cleaned up my kitchen. Another reason for you to feel better about your life. Let me share. My dirty dishes from yesteryears. Last night, after dinner, I put the food away, but I left these hot. I did most of the dishes. I don't even know if you could see them, but I realized our dishwasher didn't get run when I loaded it earlier that day. And ironically, it didn't even run last night when I closed it till Oh, you guys. It's the little frustrations in life. Anyway, I ran the dishwasher this morning, so now it's ready to be unloaded. I've got that stuff to unload. I have dishes from yesterday to unload. You, listen, eight years ago, Kim would never leave dirty dishes out or in the sink. But uh, you know, as time goes on, you gotta let stuff go. So I'm gonna whip together Magnolia's famous banana pudding. It's brownie Friday, it's brownie Friday, Friday. I don't like banana pudding. I think it's too mushy, it's just not my thing. I would rather have brownies and I might still make some brownies. Although I will say the brownies we had last week, we just got through the tray. So um, I do have a couple of regrets. Like I making a confection of that magnitude, maybe not the best option when I'm eating it for breakfast every morning and like regretting my life decisions. <laughs> but maybe a box of Ghirardelli, you know? Oh, I still, I still don't have oil. Oh, I gotta go to the store. I gotta make a grocery list. Actually, a story for another time. Okay, famous banana pudding from Magnolia Restaurant. I think I have everything I need to make this because you know, I was gonna make macro-friendly foods banana pudding, but this recipe just seems much more enjoyable. The one thing I'm not sure if I have are bananas. <laughs> They're not super ripe, but what the heck? Kind of, look how large and in charge these are. I think our banana tree died. I think it like fell over because I don't even see it anymore. It's fine. I was so worried we weren't gonna have enough bananas. I saved this. <laughs> Can you even see? It's like the saddest looking banana. It might be the best tasting in the banana pudding though. Okay, just a few ingredients. Maybe I should clean up from what I just ate before I start cooking. I love this ba Sweet Baby Ray's No Sugar Added Barbecue Sauce. And I just ate it on, with a couple of like these chicken patties. That's not one. The chicken patty is down there. Anyway, we grilled out and uh, these are the leftovers. <laughs> Believe it or not, I think this is all the ingredients plus water. I've read the recipe, I don't know, four times. Am I missing something? Just bananas, heavy whipping cream, vanilla wafers, pudding, instant pudding, a 3.4 ounce package, and then sweetened condensed milk and bananas. So no Cool Whip, because we're gonna make it ourselves with heavy whipping cream. Cool! The recipe starts by combining the sweetened condensed milk. This is a 14 ounce can with some cold water. I'm gonna take these ice cubes out. But just so you know, it's ice cold water. So a cup and a half of this. And then we get to drink the rest. Cheers. You gotta hydrate, pure fast soul. Whip this up until it's combined. Once that's combined, add in the pudding mix. And then mix this until it is lump free for about two minutes. Well, this is really runny. And it says to put in your fridge until it's firm for at least an hour, preferably overnight. Wish I would have read this yesterday, but here we are. I'm gonna throw this in the freezer, see if it speeds up the process. I rinsed out the bowl. Next thing to do is to take three cups of heavy whipping cream and whip that up. I believe there are four cups in here, but I did use it for another recipe, so I'm glad that I have extra. I'm just gonna use the rest of the container because there's nothing, like what am I gonna do with two tablespoons left? So I'm gonna whip all of this up until it forms, you know, soft, medium peaks. 
so I feel like this is much thicker. It looks like the consistency that I saw in the video. So time to whip this in. So this isn't even at soft peaks yet, and it should be. It just that I have to reread the instructions like 17 times. 30 more seconds and I think we're there. It says don't over whip. I may have done that. It's on its way to becoming butter, and that's when you add in the banana pudding mix. And normally you would like fold this in all gently. Oh, does it say one spoonful at a time? Oh crap. A spoonful at a time while it's mixing. Mix until there's no streaks. Okay, one spoonful. Oh, so gently. Has anyone ever used like banana pudding? I feel like that would add a lot more flavor, no? Or would that be too much? That looks good. It's a nice creamy texture, like silky smooth. This is really nice. All right, well, I will take a little taste test of this. Why not? Sure. Eh, okay, got a nice flavor. I'm gonna start the assembly. And whenever I've made this in the past, it always starts out by layering cookies. But this one starts out with the pudding. So I'm gonna take three scoops of pudding. This bowl might be too big. I don't know, I feel like, ugh. I feel like I need a smaller, like the, my trifle bowl is way too big. Uh, we'll see how this one works out. So pudding, these cookies smell good. Pudding, then cookies. To me, I feel like the vanilla wafers are the best part of this. I don't even need it, but that, it's just how it feels. And then a layer of bananas. I'm gonna do one full banana for each layer. And I'm gonna slice these pretty thin because it's not very ripe. So my hope is that when it sits in the fridge, um, it'll soften up a lot. And these are super large bananas too. I should add that. But don't overthink it because the video I watched, it had like five slices of banana on each layer. And I'm like, really? That bakery is jipping everyone. Or maybe this is too much banana. See, I don't know. I'm gonna have to pull people next time I serve it. Now, another layer of pudding. Should be a quarter of the pudding mixture, by the way. I don't think I put enough on the bottom, but that's okay. I'll probably do one more scoop here. Big heaping scoop. Oh, it looks so pretty on the sides. I'm already super impressed. Look how dang cute. I mean, most of it doesn't look that good, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep on with the layers. So a generous handful of the wafers, or two, or three. <laughs> So I have good news, bad news about this banana pudding. Good news is one of my children has tried it, the banana pudding lover. She says it's fantastic, absolutely amazing. And I said, no, you have to give me something more. Like, do you like it more than the other one? How's the flavor? She loves it just as much as the other one, so not much giving us there. But I said, if they were both on the table, which one would you go for? And she said, this one solely based off of presentation alone. So presentation is everything. Also, she did say she prefers the Chessman cookies over vanilla wafers, but my other child prefers vanilla wafers over the Chessman cookies. So, you know, it's a give and take. I gotta please the masses, so sometimes I'll make them with those, sometimes with these. And also, the reason why only one child has eaten them is because I was planning on, I'm editing this video late, but I don't know, I guess not late enough because we haven't all tried it, but also circumstances surrounding, you know, just videos and sponsorships and whatever. So a video was delayed and I got to get this one out instead. So enjoy, you get this recipe for the weekend. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you give it a try because I mean, listen, presentation alone, 20 out of 10. The taste, even if it tastes like the other one, everyone raves about the Paula Deen um, banana pudding. So if this tastes like it, then it's got to be good. And obviously it's like world renowned. People rave about the Magnolia banana pudding all the time. I see videos of it and it's really sloppy the way they put it together. But I guess that's their whole shtick. And it kind of, you know, lets you know, hey, if you want to make this at home, it doesn't have to be perfect. And that's what I like about it. I like the multiple layers. I, you know, there's so much to like. I got to make that brownie trifle for myself one of these days. We did end up making brownies for movie night tonight. So it looks like I will be having brownies for breakfast tomorrow alongside. Uh, well, you'll see you later in the video when I end up making. But for now, while I was actually waiting for the pudding to cool in the fridge, and I don't know if I cut this part out or not, but I said I put it in the freezer. It's the pudding part, the pudding and the condensed milk and the water bit. 
So while that was cooling, I decided to tidy up my kitchen. So I kind of did a little editing where I decided I put all of it in one so it was more cohesive and you were able to get the recipe all in one chunk rather than like, you know, getting bits and pieces of it. So hope you enjoyed that. Hope this part gives you a little motivation to get some tidying up to do around your house. To do around your house? I said what I said. And this drawer, when I first moved in, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so fancy. It's so cool. I can't even believe I've never seen a drawer like this. Hate it. Hate it with my whole heart. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was going to be amazing. It's not. It's such a pain in the butt. Everything gets stuck in there. Maybe I overload it, but like no one really ever accesses the bottom part of that. So I don't know. I kind of get what they were trying to do with like double stacking the drawer, but it's just so shallow as it is. Like I don't. And the, I have the same things on top that I do on the bottom, you know, so it's not like saving me any space. I don't know. So there's my thought. If you're looking to redo your kitchen and you're thinking, wow, I've always wanted a drawer. Well, there's my two cents. Okay. If I had to choose again, I would choose against that. I guess I could always just take it out. I don't know. Say la vie. You know, what are you going to do about it? Okay. I'm unloading the dishwasher. It's finally got washed and Normally the kids do this after dinner. That's like their after dinner chore. They help clear the table. They help put the dishes away and um, it goes by pretty fast, but I just put them away because it was, I knew we needed the space in the dishwasher because last night it had a little, I was a little befumbled <laughs> with the way that things went. Like my, the dishwasher didn't load right or earlier in the day. So it wasn't ready to unload. And then I never ended up even loading it at night. So it was just a whole mix up. Sometimes I got to get better about like my morning routine and night routines. I do what I can when I can. And that's really all I can do in this season of the life that I'm in. Sometimes I daydream like, you know, if the baby takes an early nap or something and I, it's kind of peaceful in the morning, I just think, is this what life is going to be like when they're older and don't need me all the time? I don't know. I don't know a world like that. It's been 13 long years that I've had, you know, little ones. So we'll see. I feel like next year or the year after, you know, the years go by fast. Isn't that what they say? The years are long. The days are long. Years are short. But that's, you know, how I feel. In a couple of years, I'll be able to really, you know, dig into that. I almost forgot what's for dinner. I did figure it out. No, no. Ooh. Well, I don't have any chicken in here, but I'm going to make a uh, chicken fajita skillet, chicken fajitas, if you will. I'm gonna go grab some chicken. On the way to the garage, I noticed my laundry needs to be switched over. It smells slightly better. I'm gonna throw a dryer sheet in with it. I bought like one box of these. Oh, these are Molly Suds. Okay, so they're like, not all natural. I feel like it takes me three to five years to go through one box of dryer sheets because I don't use them very often, hardly ever. That banana pudding, oh my gosh, a work of art. I've never been so proud of something. The whole time I thought, oh, maybe whenever I'm at the thrift store, I always see those smaller trifle dishes. And I think if I see one again, I'm gonna jump the gun and just get one for like things like that. It's so cute, even though the bowl worked out and you work with what you have kind of thing, but I think a little trifle dish would have just elevated it even that much more. Should I throw a red sweater in with my white sheets? Technically they're cream. And this sweater has been washed probably a million times, but been there, not gonna risk it. Hey, if you haven't thrown a load of laundry in yet and you feel like you need to do that, why don't you go do that? We can do laundry together. Perfect. All right, there she is. One more load, ready to go. I'm just gonna go by room by room and just tidy up a little bit. I didn't realize how, what, how his sink looked like this. Got a phone call. I'm needing to get rid of the Easter-ish, even though I love it so much. And I have noticed that is needing a refreshment. So I have this flower child wallflower. This is the only place in our whole house that we have wallflowers because I know something about this bathroom. Oh my gosh, I just got toothpaste on my shirt because it is all over the counter. If that doesn't tell you it's time to clean, I don't know what will. I recently got this for this little nook. I've always had just a little training potty there, but I find that I don't come in here with Wolfgang. We normally go to the other potty or even mine. So I'm gonna move the potty. And this is like, you know, our guest bathroom. 
So just trying to elevate it a little bit. I don't know if I have my vision for this. Ideally would be to put a plant on it. Look how cute that little stand is though. I don't think it could get any smaller, but uh, I'll see if I have a plant around the house to throw on there. That doesn't look ridiculous. I am so happy that I got some of this tidying up to do around the house. And you know, I always feel like I sh should be keeping up on this more. And then sometimes I look around my house, I'm like, you know what, this is, it's not so bad. <laughs> just watch an episode of Hoarders and it just makes me feel so much better about my life. I'm like, actually I'm not a hoarder, right? And then I walk in my closet and my mind changes. I'm like, well, you know, I kind of am. I'm, I feel like I'm on the borderline, Madonna style. I'm on the borderline. Did you know Taylor Swift is about to surpass Madonna in most streams, most albums sold? I don't really know what it is, but she's about to surpass Murda Madonna, surpass Murdarner. That's what it's going to happen. And I didn't even know Madonna was the top female artist, if I'm being honest. I would have guessed... Faith Hill. You know who I've been trying to figure out? I was trying to play 90s country music the other day, and I couldn't figure out the name of the woman who sings. It's not Reba McIntyre. The name of the woman who sings independent, independence, no, let freedom ring. That one. Who sings that? It's like, huh, huh. It's a short name. She's got short pixie cut hair. She sings so many jams. I couldn't think of her name, and I still can't. I guess I can Google it, but that would ruin the fun. You know, it's like, just, you should do this one night with your family. Put your phones away and just pretend like you're living in the 90s. And then when you watch a movie, you can say, oh, I wonder how old that actor is. And then you just have to wonder. You can't Google it because you're pretending to be in the 1990s. <laughs> the 1990s. Oh, the vintage old days. But you know what I mean? You just... You know, your aunt would come over and be like, oh, this is this. And then you'd go on living your life as if that was fact. I don't know. It just always makes me wonder, man, we really knew nothing back then. It, similarly, we know very little today because we just put so much on, you know, trust into Google and those things too. But that, that would be interesting to figure out if people know more. I think we've got so much knowledge like shoved in our face all the time. So we're aware of more, but I'm not necessarily sure we know more. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm moving on. I cleaned up Wentworth's bathroom. I've moved on to, I don't know what to call this bathroom. I used to call it the girl's bathroom. And now I... It's it's Wolfgang and Meredith's bathroom. I just call it the middle bathroom. Oh my gosh, I got a I I'm getting all kinds of texts and I can't make the noise stop. So that's my phone, not yours. <laughs> I'm the one with friends. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, what am I doing? You might be thinking, Kim, what the heck? Get a mop. Well, all that fuss, you know, sometimes I do this and I'm like, this is just as well. And I take the washcloth every once in a while, like probably four times in between I take it. Like, look how disgusting that is. Actually, three, I did it one, two, that's the third time I rang it out. And that's how dirty that floor is. I should have probably maybe gone over it again, but I thought, oh, that's good enough. Better than what it was, right? Slightly cleaner than where, how I found it. And that's how I clean my house. That's my motto over here at Kim's Cleaning Service. If you've never watched my cleaning videos, hey, it's Kim's Cleaning Service where we're at your service. I actually forget the jingle a little bit. It's been a while. And over here at Kim's Cleaning Service, we only clean what can be seen and we do our best. And that's that's all you can do. That's all I can do. And it's good enough. Our best is good enough. And we charge a really low fee because of everything I just <laughs> mentioned so if you're looking for a cleaning service look no further than kim's cleaning service at your service there we go there it is i just needed a little refresher anyway i've moved on to meredith's room and as you can see glitter galore and if that doesn't describe my daughter well i don't know what does she actually got it she was doing costumes and we had an alien costume for halloween and it came with glitter Love it, fantastic, wonderful. Except for this loose glitter that actually came with my costume. And I was cleaning up, you know, she had a friend over the other day, so I was, you know, tidying up after them. 
and I had the loose glitter in my hand without a lid. That mess was because of me, not her. So I had it in my hand without a lid and I kept picking stuff up, you know, because I was cleaning. <laughs> and I didn't realize as I was like bending over to pick it up, I was also tipping the glitter out of my hand and I just kept spilling it over and over again because I had, you know, had other things in my hand. So I was just whole, had a handful of random stuff and I just kept tilting the glitter. It just made me laugh because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm such a, I'm trying to clean. And then in doing so, I'm making even bigger of a mess, but it's loose glitter. Thankfully, it didn't like stick onto anything. So I was able to vacuum it up really quickly and easily. And, um, it got all over some of her clothes, but I was just able to like wipe it off really quick. I don't know how to make that stop. It's on my computer. I stopped it on my phone. It's now on my computer. I got notifications coming down my ears. It's fine. Here's the closet after. Did I even explain? I've been, I need a solution for her closet. If you have a solution, let me know. I, she needs more drawer space. It's getting out of hand. She has clothes, obviously, but then she also has school clothes. So it's like double wardrobe duty. And that's her Valentine's, her bag from Valentine's Day. Did I say Valentine's? Some people say Valentine's. And that person is named Alex Wadsworth. He is my husband. And he will forever say Valentine's. I think because he knows I don't under, I'm like, it's Valentine's Day it's Caroline, Brian, it's Caroline. Okay, I need a solution for a closet. I'm looking at Ikea, trying to find a bigger dresser and or drawers situation or bins. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, but something needs to change up there. But until then, I did get some baskets from the thrift store and I put some toys in it. Those baskets will not be a, sol a solution long-term, but they're working for now, I guess. Her closet does look better now that things are kind of you know shoved into a couple of matching baskets, if you will. And it probably cost me less than $10 for all three of those baskets. So, you know... It's better. It looks better than what it did when I first came in there. And then cleaning up Wolfgang's room always makes me laugh. It takes me hardly any time at all. So I went in there, vacuumed, and he still has some like paint on his floor. So I am scrubbing it up and it comes off really easily most of the time. Like I'll just get it wet and then I'm able to peel it off, you know, if it's a dollop of paint. But sometimes it's like in between the floorboards. And when they did the drywall in there, gosh, some of that drywall stuff is like still in the cracks of the floor such a pain to clean so I was just trying to get some of that up I wasn't very successful but I did what I could and then I'm moving into the girls bathroom the Jack and Jill oh my probably my favorite spot in the house it's got the sun skylight I really wish I had one of these in my laundry room I was supposed it was in the plans to have one in my laundry room but you know Life happens, say la vie, what can you do about it? Life goes on and it's not a big deal. I'm trying to kind of spruce up their bathroom, get the Easter stuff out. I found this at the thrift store. If you saw my thrift store haul, which you didn't, but it will be up on Tuesday, hopefully, if not Thursday. If not then, then sorry, I don't know. Like these sponsors, they're not getting back to me. It's kind of wild, but that that's life, say la vie. And <laughs> oh, I should title this video, say la vie. And anyway... The cat I found at the thrift store too, probably my favorite thrift store find. So you got a little sneak peek into my thrift store finds. But the jar of consequences that you saw on their counter, hilarious. I was gonna explain it, but I have no time. Okay, I'm done. Cleaning, kind of. For now, I'm not at all actually. <laughs> but I don't want this to turn into just like a clean cleaning video, I guess. I don't know, there's still more to be done. Maybe I'll do that in a little bit, but I just, Oh, the baby woke up, so I've been having to tend to him. So it's been a while since I've actually been in here. I should probably wipe down the floors like I did in the other bathroom. I think that would help a lot. But I just wanted the kids to all come home to just a fresh, like, hmm, like their rooms are just a little bit nicer than when they left this morning, you know? And that kicks them off for the weekend if they have friends over. Normally I say like, oh, if you wanna do this, clean your room first. So this will take a little load off their shoulders. But I do like how this turned out. Loving this moment. And I just love this bathroom so much. Um, if you don't know, we have a skylight up there and it's the highlight of my life. The sunshine of my life, if you will. All the natural light just brings me so much joy. I love this bathroom. I love that it's Jack and Jill. Um, the locks on these sliding doors though, Leave much to be desired. I'll leave it at that. Um, the kids, don't get it twisted. Like they still have plenty to, that they can do. <laughs>
But for now, I'm done. I might later clean the um, dining room and spruce up my office a little bit. I do need to put all of this Easter stuff back in the Easter bin. And I just chomped on this. I tried to give it to Wolfgang and he, I don't know, sometimes he loves these, but he had his mind on something else today. But these are the chicken maple sticks. Uh, one gram of sugar per serving. It doesn't say how much protein is in this, but I really enjoy these. These are my fave. I get them from Thrive Market. I'm filling up my water. I recently got this from TJ Maxx and it's 40 ounces. What? But still can fit in a cup holder, which it doesn't fit in all the cup holders. It doesn't fit in my old stroller cup holder. Oh, which reminds me. It doesn't fit in Alex's car cup holder which is the most annoying. So I wanted one with a closed straw like this so I could just toss it. Anyway, it's just really, so if, it, if I have straw and I toss it in his car and it tips over, the end of life. Well, I might make a little prep, breakfast prep. I might make blueberry muffins. I don't know. I'm gonna look through the recipes that I have. I swear to you, my ultrasound photos haunt me. One day I'm gonna find them and just start crying. Uh, I'm not at that stage of life yet. I'm very much still in the needed all the time. <laughs> but this is, okay, every time I show this because it's no longer Easter, so I'm needing to change the page. It's beautiful boards and I never link it. I always forget. You could search it on Amazon. I'll try to link it in the description box. It doesn't really matter. Affiliate link and all that good stuff, okay? So this is beautiful boards. It's just a book full of, you guessed it, beautiful boards. They got birthday boards. They got rainbow princess boards. They've got brunch boards. That doesn't really look like a board. That looks like a dim sum board, movie night board. Can you see this amazingness? I should probably just take the camera and show you around. I feel like I've shown you. Anyway, they also have holiday boards, so like Valentine's Day, Mardi Gras, we've got St. Patty's Day, Easter, and then what's next? Fourth of July? And then they have more too. I feel like there's a summer board, Christmas. Ooh, pancake and brunch. So sometimes I just like this one just because it's so pretty. And since we're kind of in between seasons, I'm gonna put this one up. I just love pancakes. I love looking at pancakes. I love watching people make pancakes. <gasps> make your own parfait. Actually, this might inspire me to put out like a parfait board. That looks really good. I'm gonna do that one. I don't think I've done that one before. Look at those jars. You know what? I think I'm gonna do that. And then the bagel board, it's like carbs galore. A couple things I wanna say about that. You guys, I thought I was eating a healthy breakfast. I bought the Frank Killer bagels and I was making them and Alex is looking, he's on his fitness journey and he's looking at nutrition facts lately and I was like, oh, okay, they're healthier. So on the front of the label, it has like, you know, all the good stuff on the back 48 or 45, 40 something grams of carbs for one bagel. I was like, are you joking me? I still ate it, of course, it's a bagel. And it only had like two grams of protein. I felt like I had been lied to because in my mind, I thought that was like better for you bread. Turns out, I don't know. I should have known better. I have sourdough bread in my freezer. I should probably feed my sourdough starter. Okay, what's the other thing I wanted to tell you? I forgot. Oh, summer. I said it's like the in-between. Anyway, where was I? The lull of activities, like Easter is over, that was the big, we normally have something, always something big happening. And I guess our next big thing, I keep getting emails from their, the kids' school of like, oh, here are all the activities coming up. So I'm like, oh, great, adding everything to my calendar, realizing the end of school is soon. Like they're, oh, they keep talking about end of school and all the fun things that they're going to do to, you know, celebrate the end of school. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like here already. I can't even believe it. So that's exciting. Next week they have like half a week. So we typically do something fun with the kids on like a Thursday, Friday, rather than going out Saturday, Sunday, because places are just busy, like Bush Gardens, Adventure Island, that kind of thing. Anyway, okay. I'm trying to look through the recipes, trying to figure out what I'm gonna make. Protein, blueberry muffins. But I think I'm like the only one who likes those. I mean, I need to eat breakfast too, which I'm really bad at. I normally just grab a banana, so I guess there are worse things. I mean, if I don't have brownies. <laughs> oh gosh, and then what do I see that comes up? Cookies. Okay, hear me out. At least Ellis has a healthier version of the brownies that I made last week. Um, should I do it? I'm thinking yes. You know what I just thought about that I really like? I didn't even explain the lull fully. Let me gather my thoughts. 
From Easter to summer, not much is happening, but also we have determined that is a lie. First week of summer is our time at the beach, so I'm looking forward to that, but I'm also thinking like, is it almost summer? It, do, it doesn't fully make sense yet. Okay, um, you know what I actually like eating? My favorite breakfast is breakfast enchiladas. I made them one year for Mother's Day for myself. I'm so nice to myself and I loved them and that was a couple of years ago, two, three years ago. I think I'm gonna make those again. So I'm gonna try to find the recipe and that's what we're gonna do. I have like none, <laughs> none of the ingredients. So I don't have everything that I need to make the breakfast enchiladas. So I guess we'll do that next time. I'm sitting here contemplating life. I'm like, oh, should I just run to the store and get it real quick? But then if I'm at the store, I know tonight's movie night, family movie night, will I grab a bunch of snacks? Oh, I haven't replenished the movie snacks upstairs. Maybe I should just go do that. And then I'm like, well, if I'm at the grocery store, should I get other things? Well, I don't wanna go to the store today. I don't want to. I'm gonna check the freezer again. Cross your fingers for me that I'm gonna find everything I need. Well, I still couldn't find everything, but I did find sausage links, and I feel like that's gonna, hey, if there's a will, there's a way. But I still am without hash browns, but I do have potatoes. Am I really doing this? Turns out I'm really doing this. I've got some bell peppers. I also need to save some for dinner tonight. So I'm just gonna use half of each for each recipe. And then I have a poblano pepper. So I'm gonna dice all of that up along with an onion. I have my potatoes pre-cooking, if you will, in the microwave for just like five minutes. And I have the sausage thawing out in the sink. So I have all my peppers cut. And honestly, the recipe calls for like one third cup. And <laughs> well, I always go overboard. Hot, hot potato. <laughs> the recipe calls for two cups of, is this cooked enough hash browns? I'm gonna cook these for just a couple more minutes. <laughs> just going to dice the potato up. Yeah, that's much better. When I tell you I cooked four potatoes. <laughs> I cooked four potatoes. I mean, I only need two cups of potato. So I'm pretty sure like one could have gotten me there. I'm just opening up the links and uh, getting the meat out, which probably isn't the best way to do this. Don't judge me based off of that. Hold on, let me try again. And then squeeze it out. I feel like it, oh, oh, there we go. They're still kind of frozen. I didn't plan this out. Instead of eating brownies for breakfast tomorrow, I need to make a healthier choice. So this is me doing that. Is this healthier? Debatable. I think subconsciously I'm doubling this. All right, that's, I'm done. So cook that up. Um, this looks, Gross. Cooking the hash browns, it got a little wild and crazy. Um, I don't know, just to get and make sure they're all the way cooked. I did add a bit of water in between and uh, I think they're good now. It's fine, I'm going to add this into the bowl with my meat. Back to the stove, I'm going to cook my veggies just in a little bit of oil, straight into the hot pan. Woo, it smells like the heat is all ready. I'm gonna let this cook while I crack some eggs. If I had egg whites, now would be a great opportunity to add them in, but I don't. All right. That is good enough. I'm gonna whisk these eggs up using my new Williams Sonoma whisk. I got it from the thrift store, of course. Is that an eggshell? Oh my gosh. Diving for eggshells. Hey, don't tell Food Network about that one, okay? They'll never hire me after this. Maybe I should have just made a quiche. It seems less involved. <laughs> I have to add the veggies mm -hmm. in here. Garlic uh -huh. and salt and pepper to the eggs. And cook them up. Soft scramble. Bad news, I only have like one pie. There's one tortilla in here, and then this is open, so there's no telling how many tortillas I have. My only saving grace is the fact that this is a family pack. Oh, this is opened and all dried out. We'll see if I can get these undone. Yeah. One day I will explain further the jar of consequences and how hilarious and amazing it is, but today's not that day. I'm just assembling the breakfast burritos the sausage looks kind of questionable, but I ate some, it tasted fine. Our neighbor came over, he ate some. He actually liked it. He had a second helping and I gave it some more to, for him, to him for breakfast. Um, he is carb free. So Alex and I will be eating these. Well, I have to put this in the oven and I gotta tell you something. 
first of all, I didn't know you're supposed to take the racks out of your oven when you clean it. I didn't know that. Um, that took an hour. I wish I was joking or lying or both. I'm not. So now it's time to make dinner and I suddenly don't feel like doing it anymore. I don't feel like being in the kitchen anymore. The sun is shining. Who is that? Who's in my backyard? I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, let's whip this together lickety split. And by lickety split, I mean, can we just eat breakfast and gelatas for dinner? <laughs> Did you know Chapters had an acoustic sessions version? I'm in for a treat. Chapter one, I was Tommy everything I know about Jesus. So glad I'm on top of it and I got liquid smoke when I was out of it. Is Gavin on here? I hope so. So good. He says hopes, but the lyrics say odes. I always knew it was hopes. Onion. I love Dan Plushe. Dan Plushe. Baby. Come on. Sundays. You and only. What jam is next? Aw, oh, boring. Girl, I've always loved you. I don't love you like I used to. Didn't know I could ever love you. So I'm just like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just Julianning. My peppers and onion. Well, shoot. I should have done this earlier and I didn't. So here we are. It's a marinade, which is actually like my favorite kind of thing, but we're gonna do a quick marinade. And so I'll just let it sit for like 20 minutes or so. It'll be fine because it must. So I've got a ton of chicken in there. I'm going to add in the juice from however many limes I have, five limes. And I just roll my limes before I cut and juice them and that just like loosens up the insides a little bit. The trick I learned from Rachel Ray way back in the day, she used to microwave them too if they're really firm. These are really firm, but I've got these juicers nowadays that I feel like really get everything out of it anyway. Oh my gosh, just that alone. Like I am ready for dinner. Woo, is it summertime? If you ever want to elevate a dish, just add some fresh herbs and fresh citrus. So I've got some oil. I'm gonna throw in some garlic powder, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of liquid smoke. I love this stuff. Salt and pepper, cumin for the smokiness. I've got some onion powder, just a little bit. And for a kick, I'm gonna mix all the ingredients together and just let it sit for as long as you can. So I slightly overcooked the breakfast enchiladas, which is fine. It also happens when I don't set a timer. <laughs> but um, I saved it with a little bit of greenery, nothing a little cilantro can't fix. And it's not burned, it's just um, well done, you know? So I'm cooking corn as a side dish over here and I've waited long enough for this chicken. So I'm just going to pop it into a skillet. That's not overcrowded at all. The color is off. You can't, I mean, it looks so much more appetizing than this, but I also, I can't tell if it's like all the way cooked. So I'm just gonna let it cook for a couple more minutes and it's very juicy. I'm gonna take this off and then I'll cook the veggies. I got peppers. We got onion. Tell me this is not the most amazing piece of artwork you've ever seen. This is my personal dinner plate. <laughs> Listen, this. <sighs> Macro Friendly Foods. I say it every time. I'm, I probably sound like a broken record, but if you haven't checked her out yet, go on her Instagram. She shares some recipes on there, but the bangers are in her subscription. It costs somewhere around $12, $13 a month. And you, she sends out new recipes every month, but more than that, the website has so many, I want to say over 800 recipes. You can put your meal plan together. It creates a grocery list for you. It's actually really cool. I think she's in the works of like getting uh, a way to get like grocery pickup or delivery. I don't really know. I don't do that. So I don't know a lot about it, but eventually... That will happen too. But for now, this was the flavor of this was absolutely incredible. I would make this again and again and again. 10 out of 10. Uh, so we're about to eat dinner. I feel like my house is still a mess even though we've cleaned all day and I'm hungry even though we've cooked all day. <laughs> I'll see you next time, bye.